Hey, what's up? It's Comic95, the savior, and <sighs> I am just so irritated, as always, but I started using Tinder again, and I thought it was really interesting seeing all of the, like, messages and stuff that people were sending me, and of course, like, I was just taking screenshots, like, crazy, taking pictures, all the crazy profiles, crazy messages. But then one, like, reoccurring thing that really got to me, which I've talked about in a video before, I think in my video about things I hate about Tinder in Japan. Y'all, this one took the cake. I had two different people message me, and they pretended like they were looking for a relationship. And of course, two seconds later, they show that, you know, they're a wolf hiding out in sheep's clothing, trying to pretend to be this nice guy. And you quickly find out this is an F-boy strategy. You're trying to have sex with me. I had a dude who was in his 40s. I think he was like, he was either 39 or like 41, something like that. His profile showed him having a Maserati sports car, showed his nice luxury apartment that made my apartment look like trash. Showed his nice suit, looking all, you know, nice suit and tie and everything like that. And he super liked me. So I liked him back because I'm actually doing a little thing right now. I'm making a video about this later where I'm literally just swiping around and everybody seeing where it goes. Well, I would normally swipe left on him because his first few pictures don't even show him. It's showing the lifestyle that he's allegedly living. I have a video about this, how you know that this is a tender F-boy strategy. I do not care about what you have. I want to know what you look like. This is Tinder. It's a looks-based app. And sure enough, just like I said inside my video, he shows you all of this stuff. And then he acts like he wants to plan a date with you and pick you up on his car, which he was going to do. But then he later admits, he says, okay, can we, you know, have dinner? Yeah, sure, of course. I would not want to have dinner with you. Can I pick you up in my car and we can eat dinner at the hotel? boy and mind you before he got to this he asked me he didn't even ask me he told me that he doesn't do sugar daddy activities I didn't even say I'm looking for a sugar daddy nothing in my profile says anything about that so the only reason why you would say that to me is two things one you feel like you're too old for me which is true and that you think the only reason why I'm interested in you is if I'm trying to get money out of you Two, your profile set up where you're going to attract a gold digger because you're showing that you have this nice sports or whatever luxury type car, whatever the hell that is. And you're showing the type of place that you go to, the way that you dress, the way that you live. And then on top of that, if that part isn't enough, you're telling me you're going to pick me up in your car. You're showing me all of the stuff like, just piecing it all together. So, I'm really just repeating myself. You're showing me the lifestyle that you have. Which, essentially, the only reason why you're showing it is, from a girl's perspective, you mentally think, I'm going to have this. It is no different than if a girl is dressed in a sexy way. You, as a man, you are envisioning this body is going to be riding my dick. You're not going to be thinking to yourself, well, she's going to look like 30, 40 years from now. No. You're thinking, I'm going to get this badass bitch. And that's the reason why when y'all girls be catfishing guys, only showing the parts of your body that look good, like maybe your face or whatever else, I think it's so stupid, myself included. I always make sure people can see exactly what my body looks like. You want to know why? Because I don't want to go on a date with you and then it turns out I'm not your type or whatever the case is. You can literally go to my Instagram and my YouTube channel. You can see exactly what I look like. I'm open about how tall I am. I'm not really open about my exact weight numbers. Some of y'all know that. But I'm open about the fact that I'm overweight. And in Japan, I'm obese. <laughs> That's factual information there. Nothing to hide. How are you going to tell me you're not offering sugar daddy activities? You don't want me to use you for the fact that you have money. Even though you just rubbed it all in my face. Look at me. Look, I have money. But God forbid me as a woman, if I were to decide I want to dress this way, look cute, be sexy. But then if I were to say, oh, I'm not having casual sex with you, you men act like you don't understand that. But then for some reason, I have to be understanding towards the fact you can fuck me with no commitment, no relationship. I don't get a dime out of it. And I should be okay with that. What? Then I had another dude who just like jumped straight to the chase. He was messaging me, talking about how he was looking for a serious relationship, blah, blah, blah. Is it okay? You know, can we can we be, you know, a couple, whatever. And I'm thinking like, okay, maybe, you know, I'm just 
not understanding this because I was using Google Translate to figure out what the fuck he was trying to say to me. And then I'm thinking to myself, like, okay, now if I say any of this stuff to any man, it would run and scare this nigga away. He wouldn't want some girl messaging him straight off the back talking about being lovers and exclusive, etc. That's too much. You haven't even met me yet. You don't know me. Calm the fuck down. Well, it doesn't end right there. When I do, I stupidly exchange line with him because he didn't come, he didn't come off as that crazy at first. Then he expressed to me that he was looking for you know a relationship as lovers and that he didn't um, that he wasn't going to give me money or anything like that. And I'm thinking like, okay, first of all, did I ask you for money? No, I didn't. Second of all, I'm ninety percent sure you're saying this because you went to my Instagram, you saw I have an OnlyFans account, and third, I'm thinking to myself, my nigga, you broke. What the fuck am I gonna get from out of this? Nothing. Maybe good dick if you even have that to offer. It's so amazing to me. It, it's two different extremes. Broke men are so worried about these imaginary gold diggers with their imaginary gold. You have no gold for me to dig for. What the fuck am I going to get out of this relationship? You working a job paying you thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 a year. You broke, my nigga. You making less money than I am. Secondly, for those of you that do make more money than I am, you are making over $60,000. Okay. Well, really, I am too. But okay. Let's say you're making over $70,000. $70,000 in up club. I don't make seventy k yet. I ain't done my taxes yet. I ain't put everything together. We're going to figure that crap out later on. But... Back on subject, I know for a fact I'm not making no eighty, ninety thousand dollars per year. I don't. With just my job by itself, which I've not worked for a full year yet, my salary is over fifty thousand dollars a year. Y'all need to know nothing else. That's it. Mind your business. But back on subject, okay. You don't have more money than me. And even if you did have more money than me, I'm sorry, but you're a man. And I am going to expect you to provide, dish out, and pay shit for me. And if you can't do that, then you're not going to fucking date me. You cannot pull bad bitches and not put anything into it. I'm sorry, keeping it real. I'm sorry for talking ghetto to y'all. But I'm going to be honest with you. I look fucking good. I can fuck you, your friends, and your daddy. And you want to know what? They're going to pay for my shit. How are you going to openly tell... Like, imagine as a girl, if you told men... Yes, I know I'm sexy, I look good, but I don't have sex, I don't ride dicks, I don't suck them. But you can lick my pussy though. What man is going to be like, okay, yes my queen. Unless he has some sort of like freaky fetish, he not going to be cool with that shit. He going to be like, this bitch retarded and move on to the next girl. Why the fuck do you think it's okay for you to tell me, I'm not going to give you money, I'm not going to do whatever. Did I ask you for money to begin with? No. I get what you're trying to say. You're not trying to attract a girl. So go digger using you, whatever. But that's not how you open up the dialogue or whatever. For example, as a girl, I'm going to keep it real with you. Nine times out of ten, sounds boring. I prefer missionary. I like being submissive. We get too into my personal business, but I'm being honest with you. I do not feel like it is. Sex does not feel as good on top. It's not a submissive position. It's masculine. And keeping it real, yeah, that shit get tired. In fact, it's harder to ride on top than it is for a guy to fuck you. Guys are not trying to balance on their tiptoes and shit. Like how we bitches are. It's not the same thing. However, keeping it real with you. Okay, imagine if I told men, like I said right off the bat, I'm not going to ride you. I don't suck dick. I don't do back shots. We are just do missionary. I'm going to lay in bed like a dead fish. I'm not going to do nothing. I'm not going to fuck your back. I'm not doing shit. Now that I do not do. Trust me. Ain't nobody's ever been with me gonna be able to say that we had bad sex. It was the best that nigga ever had. Everything we do. But that's another story. So back on subject, I'm thinking to myself, like, I could never say that to a man. He would instantly be like, okay, bye, unmatch me. But you, you think it's okay to tell me the main thing that women want in a man, a man that can provide for them. I'm not gonna do that for you. And, of course, the excuse being, well, I don't mean I'm not going to do anything for you. Why do you use the same excuse? I, would, I could say, well, I don't mean I'm not going to have sex with you. Just, I won't do it every day. Why would you start off the conversation with somebody telling them, I'm not going to give you what you want. But I'll do what I want when I want to. First of all, you're not tall. Second of all, you're not handsome. Third, you ain't even got a good job. So, please, don't talk about money bags, coins, any of that type of shit. You should be glad you even got the opportunity to spin your shit on me. Because the fact that I'm willing to be seen out in public with you says a whole fucking lot. Then for the rich guy, okay, back to him. 
It's okay for you to fuck me over. You can use me for my beauty. You can con me into thinking it's going to be a relationship. You can trick me into going on a date in which you're really just too shy. And you're trying to get me drunk. Trying to get me oohing and on over the fact that we have a nice car and a nice apartment. Have sex with me under the, you know, pretense, whatever idea. That I might become your wife, might become your girlfriend, etc. You won't be up front with me about that shit. But you make sure you're up front about the fact, I'm not going to play sugar daddy for you. I should have conned your little bitch ass, got inside your Maserati, took my pictures, took my videos, ate my food, took my black ass back the fuck home, and claimed to have diarrhea and be on my cycle. That's what I should have done. Told you as I had COVID or something. I cannot believe the fact they're able to get away with that. It's of course I just imagined I was mad and I thought later like I should have stayed and you know gone on that date, using for his crap and left. And the crazy thing is they feel like I cheated them, but it's like no, my nigga, you cheated me because I could never do that to a man. I don't even do that crap. They will play girls like it's no tomorrow same thing for that dude who's trying to pretend like he really wanted a relationship love no 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 you're saying all of that shit because you think you're smart and you figured out the system but you were moving too fucking fast i was gonna make a video about this addressing this for f boys and i'm gonna do that later on but see the problem is you move too fast your words were right but you were too quick with it whereas very obviously being a fuck boy if you wanted to be smart with it you slowly express that you want those things Yes, everybody knows the end result. The reason why you want to date a girl as a man is you want somebody or marry one. You want a woman that you can consistently fuck. You don't have to go on dates anymore. You don't have to go to the bar, to the club, whatever. Even if you're going to be a cheater and a dog, that's cool. But you got one hoe you can always come back home to. Women are the same way. The reason why we want to get married... It's because we want to have one stable partner that's going to pay for us to get our hair, our nails done, take us to the spa, give us dick when we want it, etc. Okay. That's facts. We want a provider. We want someone to protect us. Men want someone that will take care of them. They want someone that will satisfy them sexually. However... When you start jumping ahead too fast and be like, oh my God, I want to love her. I don't want to be with you. I want to be exclusive. What does that do? That scares people away. But it's funny. Men can do that. But we as women, we cannot. And that's fine. I understand men and women are different. There's differences. Totally get that. But my problem is they do not understand it when you switch the role. You can tell me I'm going to use you for sex, but don't you dare try to use me for money. When women do choose to do that, we understand that role. We understand that if we do choose to sell ourselves out, we understand that there was no love involved. You're just using us for sex. Even exchange, I get money out of it. But in this case, the average normal man, or I guess I should pull Kevin Samuels down and say modern men. Y'all want it to be where you can show off the fact that you have luxury, etc. Wave it in our face, try to attract hoes. See, the only reason why you got them pictures up there is you want pretty bitches to swipe right on your ass, thinking that they're going to get that lifestyle from you. Well, you ain't going to offer them shit but a ride in your Maserati for two seconds, and if they're lucky, you might take them back to your house. But you finna do that, you probably married. It's why you ain't having no real pictures of yourself on your profile. You're going to take them to a nice hotel, so you're going to show them, I have money, I'll take care of you. But I ain't finna wife you. If you were to tell girls up front that information, most of them wouldn't have sex with you. They're not going to go that far with you. Because it's not even going to be worth it at that point. They're going to be like, okay, F-boy. Okay, he's not serious. Bye. Done. If you don't want girls using you for money, don't post a picture of your Maserati. Don't post a picture of your nice, fancy, luxury apartment. Don't show me I have money. And then tell me, I'm not going to be a sugar daddy. I'm not going to buy anything for you. I'm not going to take care of you, whatever. My nigga, I didn't ask for you to. But thanks for telling me that you're not serious. Because you want to know what? A man that is serious about dating you, especially one that has money, he's going to spend that on you. You're not going to have to ask him. But you're telling me you're not going to. It shows me, oh, you're not serious. For the broke dude. You should be worried about trying to win me over. How can I be a gold digger? How can I use you for money? When you don't have any. You're broke as fuck. Didn't go to a good school. Working a cheap ass bum nigga job. You don't look good. You ain't fucking tall. There is nothing special about you. You should be glad that a girl like me is even giving you the time of day. 
Last thing you should be worried about is somebody using you for money. Welcome to reality. Guess what? You're using me for sex. Because if I was fucking ugly, you wouldn't have super liked me. You wouldn't have messaged me. You wouldn't give me the time of day. It's because I look cute. That's facts. You shouldn't be telling people what you're not going to do at the start of Or even assuming and guessing things, etc. Sorry, you can't afford me. Dumb bitch. That irritates me so much. But yeah, like just like little stupid profiles like that. And then also like the guys that are like, um, waste your time. And will talk to you at first, act like they're trying to get to know you, etc. Like they want to be your friend. And then you find out that they're really looking for somebody, you know, that can have sex with them. And I'm thinking like, just say that right off the bat. Like, you know, just be up front. And sure, I'm going to unmatch you. But we can save both of us time. If y'all were smart, you pretend like, you know, you're really a good person. Wait till you meet them. Keep it going for a minute. And then you get what you want out of it with ease. I was going to make a separate video like how I said. But like literally, that's that's the whole formula right there. When you start barking before y'all even met. When all I know you a dog. Y'all can't even control yourselves. That's the reason why y'all can't get no damn pussy. Y'all ruin everything before you even get the opportunity for it. <laughs> Have a nice written profile. Talk to you for two seconds. And it instantly goes to the topic of how much you like sex. Ask me for like etc. You know like the same little stupid question like asking you. Oh what are you here for? Why? Why? Why am I here? Why would I answer that question? All you're going to do is fucking lie. You're going to either tell me that you're there for the same reason. So I would drop my guard down and think. Oh he's serious. Oh he really likes me. Or you're going to be like, oh, okay, well, you're looking for friends, but I'm looking for friends with benefits. The moment that you have to ask me what is my purpose in using the app, which is sad because it seems like a legitimate question. But here in Japan, it's a different story. The moment somebody asks you that, you know it's an F-boy. Because somebody that's really trying to date you, be your boyfriend, etc. They are going to want to meet you and date you and they will tell you, I want to take you out to a restaurant, I want to do whatever. They're going to try to win you over. They are not going to be sitting there and be like, oh, well, um, what are you looking for? No. They're going to show you that if you ain't looking for me, you should be. Because I'm right here, bitch. You need me. You might have a boyfriend, but you need a husband, sweetheart. They're going to be that type of guy. I've never had a man that led to a real relationship in which he was like, Oh, what are you looking for? What is whatever? Maybe after we met, try to get more details and information out of me if he didn't ask it beforehand. But if I haven't even met yet, and one of his first messages is asking you that, he hasn't got to know you, didn't ask you to know where you're from, where you work, try, you know, ask you regular questions, tell you about himself, try to take you out for a meal. He ain't doing none of that shit. He's straight to the, so what are you looking for? Dog, so obvious. And it really makes me sad because like I look back and I see all the dumb stuff that I fell for. And I feel sorry for the girls that I knew here to Japan that are both younger and older than me that don't know this game because it seems innocent. I want to know what your purpose is right off the bat so I don't waste my time. But I've learned if he's asking an F boy, just like it seems innocent asking, you know, where do you live? They don't ask for your exact address, but they want to know, you know, what's your closest station. Doesn't sound like a big deal, but what they're really trying to do is calculate how far do I have to travel to fuck this person? That's all it is. Nine times out of ten, you're going to be right. So, it's whatever. <laughs> it just really makes me mad. It's like, okay, men have no problem with directly bluntly either lying to you and pretending like they don't want to just use you for sex or even sometimes just flat out saying like look I'm gonna fuck you but you can't do that back to them they'll mislead you so you couldn't just directly say look I'm not looking for anything serious I just want to fuck you I use my picture of a car to you know lure you in instead you have to pretend I'm trying to go on a regular date with you who goes on a fucking date to a hotel? A sneaky, cheating, lying ass nigga. You probably fucking married with a family. Why can't I go to your house? You rich. You got a car. You picking me up. Why we going to a hotel? Why we eating at a hotel? A love hotel is going to be where it's going to be at. Just to let y'all know. It's going to be a fucking love hotel. Garbage, cheap ass, overpriced food. What I mean by that is the menu going to be expensive, all right? But the food quality is trash. It's shit. I've been there, done that. More times than enough. Do your research on me. I got my YouTube channel linked to my um linked to my Instagram. You can watch and find all of my content here. And a lot of y'all motherfuckers speak English. So y'all know what the hell I'm saying. I got your whole game figured out. Research me better. And nothing that irritates me too is people pretending like they don't know what my job is. 
You have my Instagram. And that's how you know all the crap and questions asked. Act like you don't know my job. Act like you don't know my birthday. Bitch. This, this video is being posted in January, by the way. Or this video is recorded in January, I should say. I don't know when I'm going to post it. You can see one of my latest pictures is me with my ass hanging out on my fucking birthday. You can't miss it. You know where my birthday is. Don't ask me dumb shit. What's your job? You went to my YouTube channel. You looked at my Instagram. You saw me post about my work. Don't ask me stupid questions. You know what I'm doing. And then they get mad when you lie to them. I started lying to people. When people ask me, what's your job? What do you do? I say cashier now. You know what you're really trying to ask. You're trying to figure out if I'm an AV star. You saw I got OnlyFans going on on my account. On my latest post. You're confused. Hmm, is she a teacher or is she a porn star? Both, bitch. <laughs> It's like you're so angry. It's like, just ask directly. Hey, hey, people that pretend to not know something to try to get your answer, your side of it. No, tell me directly what you know and confirm it with me. Don't pretend like you don't know what I'm doing. And then to dig deeper, then these same people that go, like, oh, what do you do? What type of teacher? What this? What's that? Then if you ask them, okay, you're a salary man. What kind? Oh, I work in office. What do you do in the office, nigga? They don't want to answer that though. They get really vague with you, but then you want me to give specifics about what I'm doing. Hmm, interesting. Then also it's like, why do you care what I'm doing here? Why do you care about why I'm here? You're not going to marry me. You're not going to date me seriously. You don't want to. So why do you care? Why do you care what I am doing for a living? Other dumb questions. Oh, you know, how, how long ago has it been since you broke up with your boyfriend? You finna check my pussy for sperm that's decaying fat ma or something? What the fuck do you get out of that? You worry my hole finna be stretched out or something? Why does it matter if we broke up yesterday, this morning, one year ago, five years ago? Why does it matter? Why? Why do you need to know when me and my boyfriend broke up? If you're not trying to date me seriously, why do you care if you're going to be cheating by being with me? Or helping me be, you know, whatever. I can't call you a mistress. Having an affair with me, basically. You don't care about lying to me about being my boyfriend or about wanting to date me seriously. Because I always give the F-boys props that tell you straight up front, I'm a dog, look, bitch, I'm just trying to fuck. I appreciate those people, actually. Because at least they save you time. You can just unmatch them. The ones that I hate are the sneaky ones that pretend to want a real relationship that trick your ass. These are the guys that say, I want to meet you. Let's hang out. These are the cheap ass. Let's go to a cafe. Let's go to a family restaurant. Denny's. Jonathan's. These type of niggas. Caesarea. Caesarea. However the fuck you say that place. Those are the F boys. The let's go to not even just Izakaya. A cheap Izakaya. Let's have coffee. These motherfuckers will take you to a cheap place and then just buy you one drink. My nigga, we go into a cheap old ass izakaya. The beer is 300 fucking yen. You can't buy me two drinks. You want me to pretend like I'm drunk and wasted off of one fucking beer? Boy, why would I have, if I did fuck you? You think you finna get the porn star, five star experience? Five star fat ma? She ain't coming out for no fucking three dollar drink? You done lost your mind. And that's the dumb thing. Again, I'll make a video on this topic. If you spend more money on me, my panties will drop down so much faster than the guy who's like, Oh, I'm only gonna buy you, you know, a five dollar meal at uh, Saizeria or whatever. Versus the guy that spent $50 buying me Yaki Niku. Who do you think finna get my pussy first? The nigga that only bought me a drink, didn't buy me food, didn't take me to a nice place, got people smoking open my face, nasty, dirty, roach infested restaurant, or the guy that took me out to a nice, you know, four star quality meal, something like that. The one that picked me up in his car, got me dessert. Talk to me in the car. Really got to know me. Even if you are an F boy. By playing all of that game and strategy. Now you can get better sex out of me. Even if I am going to fuck you. I'm not giving you head. I'm not riding and back shots are off the table. Nope. 
I'm not doing special shit for you. We ain't doing no reverse cowgirl crap like that. Forget about those fucking couple showers and shit. You can't even treat me like I'm your girlfriend on the date that we went on. Why the fuck am I giving you the girlfriend or really the wifey experience? You can't even be a boyfriend. And they really be surprised. And that's the thing that really makes me mad when I say girls do this. Girl, ask for what the fuck you want to when you're in a relationship. Tell that nigga what you want. Don't be letting dudes play you. This, especially y'all white girls. Y'all white girls be killing with this crap. White girls, I'm talking to y'all. Don't be shy. Black women, you too. But I got good on white girls. Because I see most of y'all, I see a lot of y'all doing this crap. Do not suck no nigga dick that ain't finna eat your pussy. If he cannot go down on you, you do not go down on him. Simple as that. You also let him do it to you first. And you reciprocate the fuck out of that shit. If he go down on you for 2.5 seconds, you give him 0.5. If you even do that. Head is earned. It is not something that comes with a one night stand. Especially nowadays, motherfuckers walking around with chlamydia, herpes, all type of crap. You gonna risk that? Men will directly ask you for what they want. They will directly tell you, suck my dick. But y'all be afraid to tell a man, well, eat my pussy then, bitch. Y'all don't want to say that to him. Don't be letting these men play you. Most of the men that you done did this crap for, they would never reciprocate if you asked them to do it. They give you every excuse under the sun why they won't or can't do it. They'll do a half-assed job with it. But they make sure you give their dick attention with your mouth. I don't play that crap. Girlfriend only. And I'm not talking about the guy that's like, oh, please be my girlfriend. Oh, are you my girlfriend? And then expects you to do everything. No, 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 no. You have to prove to me I'm really your girl. We ain't doing this crap on our first date type stuff. Hell fucking no. You want me to go down on you? Show me you a pro. Show me what your mouth do, bitch. Don't worry about mine. <laughs> so, it would just make me so angry. I get mad when I see girls fall for that crap. Just like girls that have gone out on dates with guys with end up having to pay for their half. Or even chip in a few dollars. I've done that before myself. And I will never do that shit again. I fucking refuse. I will walk out that bitch before I put a dime on that fucking table. I'm not paying for nothing. You take me out to eat, you gonna pay for it. I literally just got through going on a date the other day where it wasn't really a date date, but a date. This dude literally sat there, ate his food in front of my fucking face, didn't even order me anything. And then it dawned on him, oh, maybe she's hungry, maybe I should get her something. And he wasn't even doing it to be funny, he was legitimately serious. Now I did him a favor and I didn't get it and I was like, I want to go home at this point. I got my drink for free and I left. <laughs> I'm not doing anything more. Put in the same, if not less, than the effort that's being put in for you. Don't waste your time answering 50 questions from a dude that ain't even trying to be with you. He wasting your time. Why am I telling you where I work, where I'm from, what I do, what I like, when all you're going to do is try to blow my back out with a two and a half inch dick? No thanks. Waste of time. Why do you think it's okay for you to decide I am going to use you for sex and trick you, but I don't want you to use me for money and trick me. Hmm. You got it really backwards, don't you? You can do that, but you better go off to ugly bitches. Because you sure as hell must be confused if you think that I'm one. <laughs> you, you think you really look at look at me, bitch. Look at me. You think you think that I would go on a date with you. Have sex with you for free? For free? For free? You're not going to pay me anything. I get no money. I get no ring. I get no relationship status. I get nothing out of this. You really think that you are the best option that I have? What? My nigga, I will scam your ass. I will get in your car, eat your fucking food, and I will take the train back fucking home. No. You don't deserve me. I have better options than you. I can get dick easier than you can get pussy. Do not play with me. <laughs> you should be trying to prove to me why why I want why I should want you. Sorry, when you're talking to pretty girls, we've already seen and possibly dated tons of men that have nice cars. 
tons of men with a nice I'm not even impressed by that shit anymore I've already been inside of a luxury car before I've been inside of a sports car before I've been to that nice restaurant before I've been inside that nice uh, mansion apartment before I don't care anymore been there done that seen that y'all they really be thinking that they doing something that's why I said I don't care about how much money you make if you ain't spending that shit on me yeah, you might be a millionaire, but are you going to give me a million dollars? Okay, then I don't care. Young and dumb girls be falling for that crap. They think, oh, okay, well, he rich and he having sex with me. So I have, I've fallen for that crap before. Trust me. It ain't going to happen. He knows that you just like him because he has money. He also knows he has other options. He's tricking you. Do not fall for the guy who has the money that doesn't spend it on you. Doesn't matter how much money you have, if it's not going, how much money he has, if he's not going to actually spend it on you. And see, men don't like when you figure that little game out. It's no different than if a woman were to have a really hot, sexy body, and then you get in a relationship with her, and she's withholding sex from you. I ain't saying she gotta be a hoe and busting it open every two seconds for you, but I mean, okay. You know the reason why I like you is because you're hot. That's the reason why I wanted to get to know you, you know, on a personal level. If I knew that you were totally against the idea of having sex, we can't kiss, can't touch, can't fuck, I would have chose another girl because there's other attractive women too. Okay. It's the same thing for you as a man. Why would I want a man who can't provide, not tall, not handsome, possibly married, for a little $15 meal? If even that much money? You think my pussy is worth a $15 hotel meal? Really? Some Caesarea style pizza at a dirty love motel. You think that's enough to have sex with me? Oh, you're not a sugar daddy, but I have to be a hoe for you, right? I have to be a home record to be with you, right? Because I know your ass is married. I know you have children. Hmm. Interesting. Then there's the guys, like I was saying earlier, they know about your Instagram. Some of them aren't even following you, but they have their notifications on. So when you post something, they see it. And then they contact you. Why are you keeping tabs on me? Why are you lurking in the shadows and watching my shit? And then pretending like you have no idea. And then your dumbass tells information that shows me that you've been lurking. Because you would only know this if you were following me on Instagram. Don't play dumb like you don't know what my job is. Like you don't know I have an OnlyFans. Like you don't know that I'm a teacher. Like you don't know about my YouTube channel. You don't know about me playing the piano. You don't know about any of my stuff. You don't know about my boyfriends. Nothing else. Don't play stupid with me easy way to turn me off and then they get mad when you lie back to them me boyfriend nope I don't have that I could play the piano nope I never played it before I'm horrible just tell me that you've been lurking tell me that you're not following me but your notifications are on tell me that you took your screenshots tell me that you've been lurking tell me that you've been checking out my page stop pretending like you don't already know this information like you don't know my birthday you don't know how old I am you don't know I have a cat you know all of this crap don't play stupid. If you're unsure about dates or if I do certain things, then ask directly. But don't ask fake little indirect questions. That dude just asked me the other day. Oh, what's your job? Told him cashier. What kind of cashier? Where? So if I asked you what's your job and where you work, are you going to tell me? No. So what did I do? A lot. I was like, oh, 7-Eleven. Oh, I see. And Japanese translation, you fucking lying ass bitch. But what is he not going to do? He's not going to just directly say to me, Hey, I'm asking you about your job because I went to your Instagram and I see you have an OnlyFans account. I want to know, what's your work? Aren't you a teacher? Why are you doing that? Are you an AV star? Ask me directly. Don't play games with me. I hate that type of crap. Pisses me off. So, that's just my little anger rant. It just really makes me mad. It's okay for men to tell you, you are not going to use me for money. I don't like gold diggers. But then you do everything to attract a gold digger. Look, I might not be a legitimate hoe, but trust me, you date me, we gonna have sex. I'm going to fuck the shit out of you. So you wanna know what? I ain't falsely advertised. I'm your girl. I love sex. We finna do that shit. 
You are not going to see me posting half naked pictures of myself and then I get into a relationship and I'm like, I don't like sex. I gotta keep fat my tight. I don't do crap like that. It's misleading and stupid. You wanna know what I also do? I'm upfront about the fact that I do want a relationship. Y'all do the opposite. You lie to girls, specifically foreign women, to get their guard down. You take them to a bar, pretending like, oh, it's just because I like drinking. No, 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 no. Yeah, you like drinking, but you specifically want to go somewhere cheap to spend as little money as possible. You want to look good in front of everybody around you, going out with a foreign woman, a pretty woman. You want to take them back to a motel after they're intoxicated and not in their right mind and essentially date rape them because you wouldn't have the balls to ask while she's sober and in her right mind to sleep with you. You have no interest in contacting me again. You just want to have sex with me. And that's exactly why for the times that I have, I don't even give the whole girlfriend experience. I stopped doing that crap. I haven't had sex in a good minute. For me, a good minute. It's only been a little minute, but ain't none of y'all business. Back on subject. When I do... I'm not doing that type of crap. So forget what you saw on Instagram. We ain't taking no shower together. I've made dudes mad over that. It's like, yep, because I'm not dumb. I'm not your girlfriend. Shower? Nope. Head? Nope. Ride? Nope. Reverse? Nope. Back shots? Nope. We ain't doing none of that type of crap. Commitment. Ring. Boyfriend, girlfriend. Spend money on me. And that's back into what I was saying earlier, too. You cannot spend no money on a girl. And try to become her boyfriend. We're grown. This is not elementary school anymore. I have a job. I probably make more money than you. You have a job. You can afford to take me out for a $40 meal. If you ain't going to spend no money on me, or I'm worth a $10 meal at Jonathan's, a shared meal, <laughs> okay. Well, now you're going to have to work a lot harder to make it to become boyfriend status. You're going to have to work a lot harder to get me to take my fucking panties off. Because now all I can do is think to myself, well, I'm not even worth $20. Interesting. Most of the men that I date make significantly more money than I do. They're making $100,000 plus per year. If I am not worth a few funky dollars. I don't care if you're working retail. Every man can afford $40. If you cannot spend that much money on a first date, first impression, good fucking buy. Because you're showing me I am not worth a dime. I'm not worth your time. I'm not worth your money. You're not serious about me. And you're showing me what the future is going to hold. If you can't even try to impress me. On the first date, you're not even trying to. You don't care. What are you going to do later on? What is my birthday going to look like? What are holidays going to look like? Yeah, sure, I can get lucky. I can be wrong. You can be the exception to the rule. But I don't have time for your exception to the rule shit. Okay? I'm fucking beautiful. I would rather just date another guy that shows me I want you. That tells me I'm worth the money. Than waste my time. Trying to win you over in the hopes maybe he'll take me to a $30 restaurant this time. Maybe we'll go out for a regular meal this time. No. I shouldn't have to, I shouldn't have to tell you what I want. It should be common sense. When you were taking a girl out on a first date, you choose a nice restaurant. I stopped even asking dudes for exactly what I wanted. I tell them what food I want. I tell them what my favorite food is and let them go from there. After I tell you what my favorite food is, don't ever ask me where I want to go. The moment you start asking me where I want to go, etc., I know you're an F-boy. Especially if you choose something that's the opposite of what I asked for. You ask me my favorite food, that's so you I like yakiniku. I like okonomiyaki. You take me out for sushi. You take me out to some cheap, um, you know, tonkatsu, whatever type of restaurant. Some karage type place. Some yakitori place. Okay, now I know. You have zero interest in trying to impress me. Your goal is to spend as little money as possible to get me to drop my panties. And you are a fucking clown because I am not stupid. I'm 20 fucking 6. I'm old enough. I know how this game goes. I've had tons of experience with dating men. I've been there, done that. I've been played. And you've created a fuck girl out of me. I know how to play the same games that y'all guys play. It don't work anymore. 
I will gladly accept that free cheap meal and I will go home. Do not try me. <laughs> I'm through. That's it. Sorry for my long little useless rant. But it's really made me so upset because like yeah, I, I can never do that to them. I can never tell a guy I'm not gonna do this for you. But yeah, buy me food. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna have sex with you, okay? But buy me dinner. That's what you basically just said to me. If I told you before you bought me food, I'm never going to sleep with you. Or I might do it someday. How many men are going to drop out and decide, eh, I'm not going to date her? So many. Even guys that were serious. Okay. You just told me you're not, you know, a sugar daddy. You're not whatever. Now, sure, a pick me girl and a normal girl. Because I'm not looking for a sugar daddy. If I was, I wouldn't be going for your goofy ass. But Okay. A normal girl would be like, well, that's not my intention. So, yeah, I'm fine. I don't mind. But a normal, smart girl would know what normal man tells you that. That should just be understood. If you're worried about being used as a sugar daddy, that means that you are a fuckboy. And your intention is you're looking for girls to use for sex. And you know that the girls you're going after wouldn't be interested in you if it weren't for your money. That's what you basically just said to me. So thanks for saving me the time. And I'm doing you a favor and I'm going to save you the money. So, and then like for that other dude, don't worry about what I'm doing. <laughs> as far as, you know, gold digging, whatever. You need to find some gold. Because <laughs> you ain't got shit for me to dig up. You don't have anything. What is a girl going to get out of you? Nothing. You don't have any gold. You don't have any money. Worried about a gold digger. <laughs> you need to be worried about job applications. Up in your career, climbing up that damn ladder, worried about people getting a shovel and digging in your shit up. You ain't even got nothing. And you a F boy. You super fixated on the idea of being lovers, talking about how you wanna have a lover, commit relationship, blah blah, how you like this, that, and the other. So obvious. Ugly nigga trying to pull desperate bitches that wanna get married, wanna have a husband. Hmm. If I make my profile like an F boy, nobody's gonna swipe right. But if I make my profile talking about how desperate I am for love, how much I want a girlfriend, etc., people will feel sorry and sympathetic for me. Yep, and it's gonna work on somebody, it just ain't finna be me. So, that's it. I'm done with this long, almost hour long video. So, thank you for listening, thank you for watching. Tell me, y'all, like, what, what's your experience using Tinder here? Like, have y'all had, like, same, like, crazy stuff like dudes telling you what they are or are not going to do? And the, the double standard with that type of crap. Because, like I said, girls cannot do that. We cannot tell a guy, I want you to take me out for this meal. You know, I'll have sex with you, but I don't really like sex. So, we ain't going to do that a lot. He going to leave your ass. But there's girls that are dumb enough to, you know, let a dude say, I ain't, you know, I'm, I'm not giving you money. I'm not paying for anything. Is it okay? The very thing that makes you a man, basically. Because as a woman, what makes us different is besides that we have a pussy, we look feminine. So imagine as a girl me saying, I'm not going to clean, not going to cook. I don't wear makeup, don't care about my hair. I'm not going to wear girly clothes. I don't ride dicks. I don't suck them either. I might decide I want to have sex every once in a while. I don't know when. But yeah, um, I really want to get Yakiniki with the $60 Yakiniki place, so... What dude is going to be okay with that? What girl is going to be okay with you telling her, I'm going to fuck you, but I will not give you any money in exchange for this, and I will not give you a ring. A pretty dumb and desperate one. So, any girl to let you do that, you need to be worried about her trying to trap you. So... That's it. Like I said, I'm done. Give your two cents. What's your experience? Um, as always, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Comic95. You can add me on Snapchat and TikTok. You can follow me at Comic the Savior. You can read my blog at Comic95.com. And as always, you can check out my YouTube channel. I have playlists on pretty much every topic um, on different things here in Japan. If you enjoy my journals, want more videos like this, want to know more about me and my personal life, then I suggest signing up for my Patreon. It's only five US dollars a month. I share more raw, unfiltered, real time events that's going on with my life here in japan from dating and work and just everything else it's all there on patreon um yeah also you can subscribe to my only fans account at comic 95 as well the links for everything are down in the description box and yeah thank you for listening thank you for watching if you haven't already please subscribe to my youtube channel and i hope you will watch a another video bye